Hello, and we continue the story, um, fairy tale thingy, you know, things that are not making sense. Uh, example. The king uh, has problems in the country, wherever dragon stole his daughter or stole his apple tree, whatever. And uh, he wants it back. And uh, he's not going to go after it himself. He's a king or anything, you know. He wants someone to, to come forward and go. Usually how this ends, uh, the, how it goes, it's uh, the emperor says, if you fail, you're gonna, you're gonna lose your head. Like literally, is, they're gonna chop off his head. Now that is very pointless. I mean, who who would want to take such a task? I mean, first of all, if you fail fighting a dragon, you're pretty much dead anyway. So it's it's a nonsensical law to begin with. I mean, you can't make this kind of thing. Secondly, whoever comes forward and thinks it's a good idea to go forward and say, "Yeah, I'll try." Yeah. <laughs> and then fails and <laughs> of course it's not gonna be all right he's stupid for doing this because this this is pretty much sends us to today's thing where where the leaders they still send someone else for their retarded causes you know whatever um what happens to the times when the leader was on top of the army on the horse you know, fighting and building his sword. Hiya! <laughs> what? Why aren't they there? If they're so cool. So, yeah. And what else? Oh, yeah. And you always, you know, there was all these idiotic guys. You'll do it. I can kill the dragon. And <laughs> the only reason they would go for it was pretty much... Uh, I think the kingdom, because they couldn't know how the daughter looks like. I mean, how many guys did have access to the king's private courtyards to see how the daughter... Because there was no such thing as media and uh, retarded uh, uh, TV shows where she would appear on as uh, whatever daughter name, let's call it, let's call her me, me, me. Um, <laughs> looking for her new BFF. <laughs> anyway, next.